So this is actually the third time I'm filling filming this cage tour. The first time I did it while the ferrets were free roaming and I kept getting distracted, uh, making them get out of things I didn't want them in. Uh, the second time they were in their cage and they desperately wanted out. So now they've been running around getting out energy for uh, almost three hours, I think. And they're starting to curl up and find little locations to sleep in. So I'm going to put them back in their cage and we're going to do a cage tour again while they're sleeping uh, because they're all getting worn out. So let's try this again. Okay, so here is my ferret cage. They're all sleeping right now because like I said, I've tried filling this so many times and uh, it just wasn't working. So I'm gonna go over piece by piece what's in each cage or each section of the cage. It's all connected. They can all get to each piece. Um, but so how I got all these is I had two singles, one double, and then two add-ons. So I have a review on the add-on and then I got the other cages before I started my channel. So, but they are all pretty much the same. If you can tell, these two are different colors. So they're the older models. Um, but the rest of them are all the newer models. So that is why, and they're all interchangeable. So let me start going over piece by piece. The fairies are starting to wake up because they can hear me talking. So hopefully we can get this done. Yeah, have a snack. Also, by the way, I haven't cleaned their cage yet because I have to clean the mouse cage today too anyways. So I was trying to get this uploaded before I clean everything so I can just do everything at once. So that's why it's like dirty. I also do want to get liners for the bottom, but until I am 10,000% confident that they are BFFs, um, I don't want liners because I don't want them to get stuck underneath and like get trapped or whatever and get fight, start fights, so... Anyways, let's go. Okay, so this is a crinkle tunnel I got from Petco. It has a little hole in the top and then it's like a fleece liner inside, very soft. Um, in the back, there is a triple hammock I got from Etsy and any of the Etsy shops I purchased from, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can buy them from. Um, I don't know which one's from each shop. I bought a couple different shops, but um, so far, I've liked all my hammocks I've gotten, so I recommend them all. I have this cuddle cup, which has a bed thing that goes inside, but who knows where that got dragged to. And then this is just another little Petco bed. All the stuff with like the skull print is Petco. This is from Chewy. It is one of the large Crocs with the clip. And um, I love these because I can take them off easily and wash them without having to unclip the whole thing. Um, so I have all their water in these big green ones and they're actually pretty big. And then I have their food in like smaller brown of the same version. Um, that's a pink litter box from Petco, I think. And then these little blue ones are from Chewy. So I'm going to show you the next section from this angle as well because I have like a cabinet here. I'm trying to rearrange my pet room and then also their clean laundry. So I think this might be better. Um, this is a hammock with a tunnel attached to it that came with Jonas and Gomez. So I have no idea where it actually came from. Hello, ma'am. Hi, Harley. Um... Those two are just kitten litter boxes from Chewy, like the other one. I do have a corner litter box over there. They don't particularly use that litter box. It's more to deter them from going back there because it's a really hard place to get to. And then I have the ramp with the ramp cover. That is one of the metal ramps. Um, I think I have covers for these ones too that I want to put on. I just have to find them. So that is in the plan. Hello, ma'am. You just, you just took a nap. What are you doing waking up already? Alrighty, so we're gonna stay in our cage, ma'am. Okay, so back there is the ramp to go up to the middle section. There's only one ramp to get up from the bottom to the middle section, and then there's two to get from the middle section to the top. So next we will just go straight over here from where the middle section comes up from the bottom. This is a hammock from the ferret fur plast cage I had. And then above that I have a chewy hammock. These are super cheap. They they feel cheap and they break down really fast, but um, they're soft and fuzzy and they're 
they're worth a couple bucks that they cost. Um, another corner litter box and then another ramp to get up to this section. And this hammock is also from Etsy. It's just Halloween theme. All my hammocks are Halloween or Harry Potter. Just so you guys know. So that is everything for that section. Excuse me. This next section is their feeding area, like their main feeding area. So even if I do put in uh, like liners in the bottom, I'm not gonna put one here because I have to sweep this literally every single day. Um, but they have six of these feeding dishes over here that I keep full of their food. If you wanna know what I feed them, I am planning on making a series of what I feed each of my different types of animals. Um, so I have six of these over here and then I have two more over here. So they have eight feeding bowls and then they have two more of the water bowls. So they have five water bowls total. Um, yeah, and then these are the same ones I was talking about with the clip that slides back so they can just come out really easy and I can scoop their food or wash it if I need to. Um, but also they can't knock it down because fairies, fairies like to knock stuff down, don't they, Niam? So this is the tube that came, one of the tubes that came with the fur plast cage that I'm trying to sell right now because now my ferrets all live together. Um, and then... I only have that in here because I know I have another ramp, but I can't find it for the life of me. So I'm going to need to find it um, so they can get up and down between those two. Because Gomez and Jonas, I mean, sorry, Gomez and Harley climb, but no one else does. Um, and then this hammock is from Petco. There's a sleeping child in there right now. It's like a sloth cuddle hammock that they can get inside of. It's kind of expensive, but it's totally worth it. And I think I might get the other versions of the same thing where you can like cuddle up inside because they really like this and for some reason they don't want to cuddle in that one together. I don't know if it's too small or what, but so yeah, I probably will get the other versions of that too or maybe just want that. And then this is the ramp to go up to that section and here is another corner litter box and another corner litter box down there. So now I'm going to close these because Jonas and Harley are trying to escape even though it's nap time. And just so you know, on my days off, I usually let them just kind of come in and out as they want, but I knew I needed to film this video. I've tried so many times, so that's why they're getting trapped in there right now. Um, and then I guess we'll go from this section, this ramp goes up to this section, and I'll give you an overview of what is up here. And then I will go over to the other one because this is the only one that's actually blocked off in the middle. And that is just because I wanted to have a couple different options. Um, if I get new ferrets to make a quarantine cage, I do have a spare one of these like bottom foot things. So I could take this whole entire piece off and make a quarantine cage somewhere else. Or I could even just block this hole and then they wouldn't be able to get to each other through there. So um, I'm not sure. That's just a couple options I had. So I wanted to make it uh, easy. There's obviously a little bean up there. This is a Harry Potter hammock from Etsy. It's like a double stack hammock. I haven't seen anyone use this yet. This is a PetSmart hammock and it has bungee cords. So it's really hard for them to use. So I kind of put it at an angle pretty close to the floor because I was sick of seeing them try to use it and then flop out. Um, and I actually have seen Evie use this, so that's nice. And then a ramp to go up there, which has a litter box and a little Miss Evie up there in the Petco hammock. Um, by the way, I'm 5'8", and so this is my eye level, and then this is me looking up. So it is really tall. It's really close to my ceiling. I don't know exactly how tall, but um, they do have plenty of space. And then these are two more water dishes. The reason they have such a big enclosure is not because they're in there all the time but because i do work in sales so i do are you stuck oh you're good okay i do work um eight to ten hour days sometimes and they can only be out when me or my boyfriend are home um and awake so that's why they have such a big cage i wanted to give them plenty of space to run and play and enjoy themselves but still make it safe you know what i mean um, so the last section is over here, uh, Loki sleeps like, uh, the dead, and it's really creepy sometimes, but I got used to it, it took me a while, but I got used to it. So, 
this is the last section. I have a triple layer hammock over there from Etsy, a cube hammock I got in a set from Etsy, and um, they really like this cube. It's super well made, so it doesn't sag like a ton. This is a PetSmart bed that matches the other hammock uh, that clips onto the wall. And then this is another Petco hammock and another of the kitten litter boxes from Chewy. This little boy, I promise he's okay. He's just, he's just, a really deep sleeper. He's just a really deep sleeper, isn't he? But yeah, so that is their cage. If you have any questions or suggestions or concerns, definitely let me know in the comments because I would never want to put my pets in any danger if I'm doing something dangerous. Um, but yeah, here's an overview of their cage. I accidentally woke them all up, uh, which was not my intention, but I guess... Well, I purposely woke up Loki, but um, I just want to give you an overview of their cage, show you how much space they have, how fun it is, and then what my plan is if I ever do need to get more ferrets, need to, ferret math, not need to, um, but to have this be the quarantine cage until they're friends instead of having the extra cage in here because I do want to sell this so I can have more space for them to run around and play, um, but until then... They are so happy in here. They sleep all over the place. I've seen them use almost every single bed. So I think they really like it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.